Hey guys, welcome back and thanks for joining me. Today's Friday, August 16th, and I'm heading to West Sacramento this morning to take part in an event that's called a Procurement Expo. It's put on by the DGS, which is the Department of General Services with the state of California. And I'm there to learn about how to do business with the state of California, uh, the different services and bid opportunities that they're looking for, how to find those uh, opportunities with the state. Most of that's online, uh, but how to navigate their bid opportunities with their, their different websites, with their different agencies, uh, meet the people that would actually uh, be really giving me those those orders, those opportunities, those jobs, things of that nature, build some relationships and some understanding with them as well. And anything else I can stand to benefit from this, there's all the right people are going to be um, at this event uh, for me to learn as much as I can to help me, uh, help me and my business do work with the state of California and and grow and sustain that. So um, anyways, I'm gonna be bringing to you the entirety of my experience and all that I've learned from this. And I would encourage if you're interested in doing work with the state or public works of any kind, um, that you see if in your area, if your state, if you're outside of California, that you see if they put on events such as these um, to go and meet these people and learn these things and uh, afford this opportunity for yourself as well. Um, but I'll be bringing to you, of course, uh, my, my take and insights uh, from all of this. So uh, stick with me. Hey, guys. Uh, so I just got out of my Procurement Expo meeting um, with the DGS. The, some of the other departments they had there uh, represented as well was CAL FIRE. They had the Department of Correctional Facilities, um, the institution, something to that effect. Uh, Let's see, they had the Parks and Rec Department there, and uh, I believe that that was it. But anyways, um, we got some introduction, we got a presentation, we got some explanation from uh, procurement heads and experts uh, from each one of those departments for the entirety of the state of California. Um, and we also heard from some of the, they're called advocates, uh, each department, <coughs> and including uh, at the state level, uh, there are advocates for small businesses, uh, and in their case also DVBEs for disadvantaged business enterprises, or sorry, uh, disabled veteran business enterprises. Um, and their job is to make sure that their bid opportunities get uh, sent to those SBEs, those DVBEs, <clears throat> and that the preferences for those contracts be awarded to them are uh, in fact sought out and followed through with and instituted. Uh, they have a 5% uh, DVBE goal uh, for all their contracts that's statewide for every department it's mandated and they have 25 percent uh, for small business so there's a lot of opportunity the state is really trying to push uh, their contracts or business in that direction and anybody who qualifies on uh, either one of those certifications or if you have multiple certifications if you're a small business and a DVBE or any combination of the possibilities you get five percent uh, value preference for each one of those certifications you hold. So uh, just to give a brief explanation to that, if you're a small business and your bid is 5% higher as a certified small business than the next low bidder who is not certified, uh, you're going to get that job because you get that preference despite of the price differential, the delta between your bids because you're a small business. And that's the preference that the state is trying uh, to give towards that. Now, federal has their own as well. Uh, they have their own certifications and programs. Um, it's, the, it's with the federal government that they have what's called DBE, uh, the dis Disadvantaged Business Enterprise. Uh, that's a, it's a federal recognition there. Um, so anything that has uh, federal funds associated with it, they're gonna, re they're gonna have some of these stipulations, even if it's through a state agency, if federal funds are tied to it, they could apply some of those terms and specifications to the job. Uh, the state uh, funded ones are not gonna have that. But at the same token, we talked about some DVBEs already. Uh, the feds do not recognize DVBE. There is no disabled veteran business enterprise or, or veteran anything preference with uh, the federal government. State of California has that. So it, it, uh, there are just some things to keep in mind. It's gonna open up opportunities uh, in different ways. I was able to learn a lot about that um, and some of the different uh, the uh, requirements, one of them they call CUF, and it's an acronym, forgive me, I don't remember exactly what it stands for right now, uh, but it's their kind of scale, their measure of ensuring that as a certified small business or anything that's gaining preference on a project that you are in fact performing the job and you're not just subcontracting that out uh, to a friend of yours to, to do the job with your bid preference, something like that. A lot like we've talked about with our uh, California contractor's license, um, they wanna make sure that your 
uh, whoever's actually qualifying your category that you have listed on your contractor's license that they're a part of the business, right? That you're not just qualifying somebody else to do work that they really have no business doing, things of that nature. Uh, anyways, um, it was a pretty small, intimate group. I got to meet some very interesting people, both with the state and those who are in this line of work, uh, or at least doing work with the state, I guess I should say. Um, and it was very educational. Um, it was totally free. Uh, <clears throat> so the networking and the education was worth it. Um, if you ever have an opportunity to do something like this yourself, I would strongly recommend it. You really stand nothing to lose other than some of your time. Uh, it's uh, five minutes to noon right now. It started at nine. I'm already going to be uh, heading out to lunch and then home. So uh, I've gained that, and uh, it was it was definitely worth it. I hope some of this at least was exposure or eye opening to you, um, and that you could you have enough to go off of to maybe look into this yourself, evaluate if it's something you need or should consider for your own business and your own opportunities and expansion. And I would uh, strongly suggest that you do. Uh, I'm the cl closing closing final note on this is the question that I had as a new I'm a, I'm a startup right <clears throat> and so I looked at the requirements for at least small business I'm not a disabled veteran but I looked at small business and uh, I met all the requirements I don't have a personal net worth of over 1.3 million dollars and my company hasn't done over 20, uh, 16 million dollars in the last three years and I'm I'm based in California all these kinds of things but one of those is it didn't say anything about how long you have to be in business now you do have to show your past three years tax returns to demonstrate that you didn't revenue over I think it's 16 million dollars so my question to them was do I need to be in business for three years to have that tax return as part of my application to even become small business? The answer was decisively no. You can be a startup. You can have no business history whatsoever and apply and obtain your small business license. Um, even if you outgrow that within six months, for six months you were a small business and you're going to get some bid preference. So that's good for you to know as well. If you uh, are in business, believe me, you have a service you can offer to the state. And for as long as you don't uh, exceed those requirements, if you're not personally very rich and if your business is not very big, um, you can do work with the state. You can get that sort of Certification. I recommend strongly that you look into that immediately because there's no other requirements. You don't have to be in business any longer. That's what I'm going to do. I'm definitely going to be bringing the same application process and experience uh, to you, obviously, for your own benefit and edification to apply it to your own. Um, if there's anything else that I didn't comment or um, some questions you do have or anything you want to add to it, please add this to the posting of this video. I would strongly encourage that. I really appreciate your involvement and participation in this. As always, please do subscribe to my channel. Um, there's so much I try and bring to you just my own experience. And I love hearing about your own so that this community can help one another. I really appreciate your time today and joining with me. Uh, stay tuned for more on this whole process. Thank you very much.